four formulas you can use on any sweater in your closet. And the outfit is always gonna work. Hi, my name is Chi. If your sweater is wide, your bottom needs to be narrow. If you wear a white top with a white bottom, in your mind, you might be thinking, Oh, I could live in this. But in reality, how do I look? Um, what should I say? The truth is, you look like a SpongeBob SquarePants. But if I tell you the truth, you will never be friends with me again. You want me to be polite or honest? When we talk about narrow-fitted bottoms, the first thing that comes to your mind is probably skinny jeans. But I know there is, there has been an ongoing, never-ending debate. Skinny jeans? So last season. Oh, it's so not. I mean, how long have you been doing fashion? I've been doing it since you were in kindergarten. If you are the type that believes you should stop wearing skinny jeans from this point, or maybe you have never liked skinny jeans, there's plenty of options, like this narrow-fitted kick flare jeans. By the way, everything I'm wearing, the link is down below. It's not clinging to your legs like the skinnies, but balance out the volume in your white sweater top. If you're the kind, a diehard fan of skinny jeans, continue to wear it. It's still one of the best options to wear with a wider top. And for the elevated look, you always want to wear your skinny jeans with booties or tall boots. Turn it around. If your sweater is tight, your bottom needs to be wide. Rip this sweater. And the best option for the bottom is white leg pants or white leg jeans. Of course, you can wear a tight sweater with a tight bottom like skinny jeans, but to me, this is like an unfinished look. The same rule applies to skirts. If you are wearing a tight top, do not pair it with a tight skirt. This is a bodycon silhouette. The problem is, this is what I call an unfiltered look. I mean, it may sound appealing and all, but in reality, this is a kind of silhouette that's gonna make most of us feel self-conscious. When I switch to wider skirt, this is an A-line silhouette. This is a much more accommodating silhouette. Because it flares out, this is gonna create the illusion that I have a waist, even though I don't. And also the overall silhouette of the entire outfit looks much more balanced. Rule number three, if your sweater is long, wear it with a short bottom. But first, let's take a step back. There's a correlation between our age and the length of our sweater. Have you ever noticed if you go to a store that is mostly catering to younger shoppers like Express, like ASOS, you'll see a lot of crop tops. On the other hand, if you go to the retailers that's mostly women over 50, chicos and towel bots, you're gonna see a lot of longer tops, tunic tops. But actually, it should be the other way around because longer tops, they are the easiest to age us. If your sweater is tunic length, this is the hardest length to make it work. You really need to wear it with a short skirt. The shorter, the better. Go as short as you can handle. Mini skirts are the best. Not only this is gonna get rid of that grandma look, but also look at how much longer your legs are. I am already hearing rejection. If you're gonna tell me there's no way you're gonna wear a skirt that short, I have another solution for you. Make your sweater shorter. You can't take it to a tailor because they cannot chop it off. What you should do, I just figured this out by the way, use a skinny belt. But this is not what I mean. If you just put a skinny belt like this, this looks like you're trying too hard. I mean, this looks kind of tacky. So instead, you should pull up your sweater until your skinny belt has disappeared. Depending on how long your sweater is, you may need to pull up more or less. But the idea is so that your skinny belt is completely covered under your sweater. And this is gonna convert your sweater into a much shorter length. And this is much more flattering compared with the tunic length. If for some reason you insist that your sweater has to be this long, wear it with tall boots. The long sweater is adding 10 years to your look and the tall boots is taking 10 years off. So net net, you might be doing okay. Sometimes if your sweater is long, but they can be tucked in, then always tuck them in and make them shorter. If your sweater is cropped, wear it with a skirt. This works wonders with midi skirt. 
midi skirts are very hard to handle because it falls at a very awkward length. Because it goes past your knee, this is very easy to age you. But when you wear a crop length sweater, your top looks like less than a third of your body. And this is the most pleasant ratio body proportion to the eye. If your sweater is very cropped, when I wear jeans or pants, they are very easy to expose my belly. For that reason, most of the time, I find skirts are easier. But if your sweaters are cropped but not too short, you can also make it work with jeans or pants. You just want to make sure your jeans or pants are high-waisted. If you have a midi skirt lying in your closet because you just can't figure out how to make it work, every single time when you look at yourself in the mirror, something doesn't look quite right. This is it. It's because your top is not short enough. Try this. Go with a shorter top. A shorter sweater top, this is gonna magically change your body proportion and this works every single time. Some of you have mentioned to me that you just can't wear anything cropped. It's nothing wrong with a crop top and it's nothing wrong with your body. What is wrong is your bottom. You're not wearing the right bottom with your crop top. Try the A-line shape silhouette. This is the most accommodating silhouette and nothing exposed and nothing is clinging to your bottom. No matter what body type you have, you can wear this combination. If your sweater is cropped, Midi skirt is not the only way you can make it look good. You can, of course, also wear it with a shorter skirt. Here's the thing about short skirts. It's really hard to not look good in them. In fact, if you are petite like me, I am 5'2", and my legs are shorter than other women who are 5'2". For me, short skirt always works, no matter what kind of top you're wearing. Of all the sweaters, what I found most difficult is cardigan. I know this may sound strange because everybody has cardigans. These are like bread and butter. These are something that we can't live without, but they're also so hard to look good in them. They always look just basic. How do you make your cardigan look not so basic? If you wanna go for the more elevated looks, I have figured out some styling tips for you. So watch this video. How to style your cardigan and make you look chic.